Yorkie's about barely in here. Before the founding of House Yorkie. Before Yorkshire was even on the maps. But my people, the brigands of Brigantia. Now, let me take you to back to my time in Galarian. The Pathfinder, Kingmaker. Let's see where we are. Uh, I've got Ivar to talk to. Uh, I've got a council going on. Stolen lands. Which we're not interested in. We're not doing beneath the stolen lands. Right. Let's head this way and go back. Talk to the folks at the council. Don't need peaceful people. We're at war. Well, we're at war with a bloom. Need to catch my breath. Lots of monsters entering the land. See if we can uh, sell junk. I won't be halted. Would be useful, but I don't think so. And an armor plus two, not interested. Let's just make sure we've got uh, everyone's got the items we need. Knock, knock, you're going to be going with us, I guess, so you need one of these. You need, uh, you got that. One of these. You got everything. You don't have a belt. Heraldia, uh, you have a dex belt. That's only a plus one, you can have a plus two. And since Reggie burgered off, uh, you're with us. Don't need to drink though, do you? Not Reggie, uh, I can die. You've already got that. Me, I've got better. All right. Right. Go talk to the council then. The throne room is full of people, your allies standing around the throne, waiting in silence as you approach. The atmosphere is tense. Today you'll be discussing the strange and deadly blight that's recently struck your parony. The gloomy silence is only perpetrated, uh, penetrated by loud chewing. Knock Knock has grabbed a whole fried chicken from the table and is busily devouring it, ignoring everyone else completely. God folds his hands on his chest. Well now that we're all here, let's sum up what we know. We've each spent a lot of time and effort to learn what we can about where the monsters come from and what's causing this strange disease. I hope this conversation can shed some light on the situation. Keston shakes his head slowly. We need to hurry. If we don't find a source of this blight and eliminate it, we may end up with a rebellion on our hands. Summarise what we know. John, the surgery show the magic seeds causing the disease, right? Right, judging from the location of the pl uh, patient's bodies, these seeds were ingested. Seems likely they're initially extremely small, almost invisible, and people simply swallow them with their food. Once the seed is in the stomach, it begins to grow, causes the symptoms of seen in our patients. As soon as the seed gains enough strength, it sprouts and turns into a magic portal, just like a bud turning into a flower. 
Aristotle, forgive me. John stares at the distance for a moment. Something must have possessed me to say that. It really does look like a bl like blooming. Every seed tears the body of its victims, just like a flower tears its bud. Kirsten, we discovered that Lamish two cultists weren't involved. Doesn't mean they're innocent of other crimes. Watch it. I'm a Lamish do now. In her name, a Lamish do draws knock knock's attention. Well, there is not to blame. Told you. Who listens to me? Goblins obviously like having all these monsters around, so them it's a sign of Lamish do's benevolence. Kesson grunts. I'd say they're just excited by anything new that happens. I wouldn't be surprised if they're linked to this story somehow. But I doubt the seeds were created by goblin shamans. Besides, a plan like this seems a little beyond the local goblin chief's intelligence. Knock knock Rizzy he said. No worry, I think I think Goblin King is rotten life scratcher. Shaman plays him like reed pipe, babbles about Lamishdu, then plots behind his back. Can you tell me where these monsters come from, Tristan? The ones that appear because of this bloom? Jason raises his eyes from the papers on the table. Undoubtedly from some world alien to our own. All the monsters appearing in the bloom are exceptionally large and strong. It'd be rare to encounter such specimens in the stolen lands, or even on most of Galarian. But it's impossible to say what it is that lies on the other side of the portals that's intent on killing our people. That's all I need to know. So the bloom's essential properties are strange seeds getting into people's bodies cause their disease and eventually creates magic portals. Now we just need to discover where they're coming from. Tristan had been examining the map on the table from the shadows. Gives a small cough. If I may, I've noticed an interesting detail. Well, two details. First, the seeds afflict mostly the villagers. There have been no recorded case of disease within the city limits, except for those who came here looking for the cure. God nods. That's right. Thus, we can assume a common factor in how people are exposed to the seeds. Many villagers get their food from the same territory. Jason slowly shakes his head. I don't think food is the problem. Take a look. He points at the map. We have the most cases of the disease here, here and over here. Monsters mostly attack here and here. The cladic's finger travels down the map, point, tapping points in a fluid line. See, the situation is most dire on the banks of the Goodrain River. Everyone examines the map closely. Edda still have mercy, John explains slowly. Exactly. Along the river. That must be where the seeds come from. From their drinking water. We have to go upstream to find source of the blight. Not that jumps at your words. Take me, me! The goblin bears his hip. His, shook, his sharp crooked teeth. I want to settle the score with the king. Jason straightens up and flexes his shoulder. If you allow me, Baron, I'd like to take the lead on this. I'll take the best members of the militia with me and sweep the woods along the river. We'll look under each and every rock, if need be. Yeah, go on, Kesson. Off you go. I thank you, my Baron. I hope you'll join us soon. Kesson gives a short bow and turns and leaves. Just now, did you find the link between the disease and river? We cleared it quickly, glances pensively at the map. You see, Baron, these seeds are not the only sign of something abnormal at work. Remember the ruins where we first met? The glade near those ruins, full of huge flowers. Glades such as that tend to appear all over the stolen lands. It seems strange, does it not? Especially if we take into account that the magic seeds and the portals they create look like flowers themselves. God even calls it his ass to the bloom. I'd like to research this natural, natural phenomenon. Perhaps this isn't up talking as loud, hasty steps are heard from the main entrance. Kirsten, you're back already. Didn't have time to find anything out. Kirsten runs into the room. That wasn't running. Your Grace, we have trouble. The peasants are rioting. Ugh, that's the only solution these nitwits can come up with. Don't worry, Baron, as long as they're not setting fires on the streets, we still have a chance of coming to a peaceful resolution. If you allow me, I'll go and speak with them. Do my best to calm them down. And if peace doesn't prevail, your guards and I will stand with you. Let's go, I can hear their shouting even from here. Calm down, you daft buggers. We're working on it. I require rest. The murmuring cra sounds a bit more than murmuring. 
takes up almost the entire square. The murmuring turns to shouts at your arrival, and a stone flies out of the crowd and strikes cobbles at your feet. There he is, out at last, damn his eyes. That could be convincing. Keep this up and you'll regret coming here. Is that right? You can't silence us all. Tempting, tempting. George, you've got one chance to reason with them. People, please hear me. George steps forward and raises his hand. Quiet down. His voice runs over the crowd. People fall silent. I'm John Kavkin, humble servant of Rastel. I may be his grace confident, but I'm also one of you people. The people of the realm. The Baron is deeply concerned by your suffering, and he's doing everything in his power to... Lies! This ruler is the source of all our suffering. Once we get rid of him, the curse will be lifted. Suddenly an old man dressed in rags steps over from the crowd. Or the crowd parts from him. It's difficult to tell. As he gets closer, you recognise him. It's the Prophet Remus. Dies from the crowd. Repent, fools. This is your last chance to appease the goddess. He turns and points at you, his eyes of fire. By killing the... Oh, you stupid fool. That's it. I'm... My patience is gone. Where my pa patience act like that. You'll find it'll go bad for you. I gotta go up Godrin River. A rest would be welcome. Looks like everyone's busy here. Yeah. So, oh, up Godrin River it is then. Uh, we need to rest first. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Yeah, that's right, Linz. I'm thinking I want to switch him out for him, but if this is to do with the goblins, I'll take Knock Knock. Let's go then. Goodrin River or bust, as they say. Not sure who says it, but now I do. Goblin Fort, huh? Oh, what's this? Goblins are upon us, you grace, make haste. We do it my way. Stand with me. Taste my fury. 
Keston nods, his armor is covered with cuts and scratches. There's blood on his gloves. He himself is uninjured. You're right on time, Baron. We're losing hope. The longer now that you are here. No longer now that you're here. Further down the path beside the palisade lies a goblin's nest. <coughs> we chanced upon it while heading up river. No idea where these pets managed to build it or how fast. Scouted less than ten days ago and there was no trace of them. <coughs> Keston raises it against his composure. Whatever the cause, the surrounding area is thick with goblins. Only one of the scouts we sent made it back. He reports that they've raised a fort of sorts up on top of the hill, around a totem of Lamashtu. Managed to rescue a few of the captives, others escaped and came back on their own. We've questioned them. They say Shaman performs rituals on the prisoners. We entrenched ourselves here for, to prepare for an attack. The goblins kept coming at us. They're not giving us a moment's peace. The way they're ho hounding us... Cannot protect any survivors. Hmm. Hell with the idiots who got captured. I want to crush that insolent chief. We'll be able to pass the camp without a fight in any case. Save the people while searching for the chief. They're your subjects after all. Right, we're gonna go. All right. Serves you right. Strike as one. That's another down. I did as you asked. Yeah, you did. You want a prize for doing your job? Just take him down, guys and gals. Getting dizzy. There we are. Ah. Knock knock. You need to swallow some portions, mate. That'll do. We do it my way. Oh, what are they doing? You're making your way through the goblin camp, a dirty, hastily erected settlement, built of trash and mortared with w what smells like goblin waste. You catch sight of the silvery glimmer of water ahead, then suddenly notice a squad of armed goblins moving towards the water as well, shouting at. A uh, okay. This is a ritual, is it? Making them drink. Is that where the seats are? Wouldn't that be flowing down towards us? Seemingly unaware of you, the goblins push the prisoners to the water's edge. One of the guards knocks the nearest private, uh, captive, a decrepit old man off his feet. Falls. Drink fast! The old man picks up the ladle with his hands, then stops. What are you waiting for? We've got to save them. 
Too true. Let's just get in there. I don't care about reading right now. I want to kill. If I were you, uh, certainly. Uh, knock knock more runner and talker than fighter. Get out of my way! I'm going down. I will not falter. Throw a little healing around, will you? Head on. What else have we got? Do it my way. You deserve it. I'm writing you out of our story. One more. Get these buggers out of here. You, yes, you. Let me out. Come on, move it. Are you waiting for... Who the hell are you? I've had to deal with a dozen goblins while we're here, so a few more over of little concern. What are you? Copulent man in a ragged jacket and one-out trousers in the cage. His hands tight on the bars as he tries to throttle them. Take me just a free merchant. Now that the formalities are out of the way, you see about setting me free. Don't let him out, he's a scoundrel. He never missed a chance of police on his dad working folk. He even shakes down the refugees. He has no shame. Get it coming, wretch. Where are your thugs now, Tigny? Have you heard have you had a term a uh, hard time? Sleeping on the dung mat. Let him rot in the cage, or in the goblin's belly, I don't care. No, no, don't listen, I have no idea what they're on about you. Well, you're a liar, aren't you? Did you cheat, people? Well, no, no, nothing like slander and nonsense. Yeah, you did. What do I get out of it if I free you? Seeing his eyes widen in horror as he licks his lips, sweating profusely. You know the bridge over Godrin River? Down the stream, not far from Susquader? On the same side as the banner, there's bushes growing near the road. On the bridge, I buried a little something there under one of the bushes. Jaws, if you let me out. Oh, ta -da. Onwards! Sounds very much like he's been messing with my people, and I don't accept that. Only I'm allowed to do that. Let's make this quick. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ja, dann. Done and done. Right. Off we go. I, I was successful in my search. I did as you asked. Some drunk goblins. Oh, well, why not? Ah, I just have mercy. You scared us. You, who are you? What have you come to rescue us? What are you doing here? I didn't. We managed to flee from the shaman right after the ritual. After it? Then you're doomed. That little freak almost drowned us. You haven't escaped. You're released after the infection with magic seeds. What, you mean the water? No. Yeah, well, I can't risk my men. So you're done. We do it I see mind. something. I did as you asked. Yeah, you did. Didn't exactly work now, did it? A strike worth a legend. There we are. You should take a look. Done and done. Do we have anything? Not really. Right, now I stand ready. Give us some more healing, will you? Oh, they're doing some ritual there. They approach the prisoner, the shaman gives it all. The one goblin grabs the prisoner by the head and pulls his head back. Okay, so yeah, yeah, okay, that's not. Enjoy your final moments. <laughs> They were deliberately getting my people infected. Vacant eyes, if uh, don't understand what's happening. Uh, people can front clearly and they're living under the sun. Uh, it's not so much about the rabble getting under my feet, it's more that they're infected now, so we need to get rid of them. 
There we are. I don't suppose we've got to cure blindness, do we, anyway? Mm. You can. And we do, actually, we do. That's good. We do it my way. I did as you asked. Well, I won't be halted. Drive away all this fog. I am ready. I lead. You follow. Pay attention. More drunks. I did as you asked. Getting closer to leveling too. We do it my way. Right. I thought you'd never ask. What troubles you? No, air, Orama. No, air, Orama. Ba, air, Riti. Ba, air, Riti. May I suggest another way to use this spell? Down. Esmo, Axe, yes. Well, we're doing okay. Uh, See what else we can do. Large person mass. The chest there. Looks like this might be the next bit, and possibly a big bit, given it's fenced in, so... Stop, stop, I smash Shat Shanks alone. You wanna fight the Chieftain? I can't sleep without knowing that rat bag wears the crown. How do you intend to fight him? Like true goblin, true goblin hero. Fight with anything I have, any how I can. Bite, kick, stab, kick. Very well, here's Janska, even. Good, cheer for me then. You know what you're doing. Right, he's going in. Got a chunk. French preachers, come out, fight me. You see who Lamas do favoured here. You'd be beautiful. No way, you swindle tries like. What, you afraid, coward? I fear, I know fear you. Shut up, I will fight, I will. Others stay back, only way, me, him, fight. Yeah, well. I knock your left, right, chin, head. Well, let's get on with it then. So it came to pass that we would bear witness of a true goblin duel. Renowned scholars would have paid a steep price to be in our place, and would have paid thrice more afterwards to be anywhere else in the inside of camp teaming with goblins. The news of the king was going to fight the insolent intruder spread through the tribe like wildfire. There was not much tribe left for it to spread to. The goblins gathered around the fire, began to yell and shout so loud. 
as if they wanted to let do a salto here. The new list was surrounded by an incredible number of gay, but yeah, let's get on with it. Walk to the crowd in Goblin Town. Yeah. A wasp nest. And so the wasp nest thrown at him. Now, the one that most fears makes me frightened is that bugger. Yeah, take him down. Sister, protect me. All right, this did not work. Let's try again. Let's try again. Have some back skin. You can have aid. You can have blur. You can have heroism. You can have invisibility for all the good it'll do. Protection from arrows. Shield of faith. And vanish. Meanwhile, I'll have a lot of the same stuff. Knocky. All quiet. Ready to stab. Let's get it done. Enough with the taunting, just get on with it. No. 
around here. Used to lighting enemies on fire first. <laughs> that cold breath was a bit mean. Taste my fury. Go down and Will we make you laugh. Nope. Run them through. Now you're out here. Someone stuff he's done now, we can get off that. And knock knock get into his victory. The approach shaman bursts into a bizarre squawking. One becomes clear to you, the goblin choking on his own blood, broken into gloating laughter. T bad and be too late. We'll have the last much do came true, the bloom be happening. What are you talking about? Shaman's eyes red, small and wicked of a feverish glint. And nowhere uh, else. The blossom seeds come down the stream. We drink boom boom long shanks drink boom boom boom. Flowers grow, great beasts crawl out. Lamish do be pleased. Shaman convulsively sucks in some. I think I'm tired of him. All these plants will make it before. For what? These know the bloom altogether. Boom, boom, boom. I'll stop you. I think you're stopped. At least you're stopped. I don't know what else might be happening. Me keep. I did as you asked. Over there. I won't be halted. All right. A chest there.
chest there. Done and done. Oh, we got a magic cookery. Ideal for our boy there. Right, we're going to head back here. I know there's going to be other things to do, but if we can head out, uh, I think we can pick up most of the stuff and then come back just for what we need. And we'll do that off camera, I think, but we want to have a word with Kirsten first. Let him know everything's resolved. Four thousand left in the level. We go. Well, that's not good, is it? Onwards. Can see. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. This will be over soon. Go berserk. There we go. Well, it looks like they survived. Kirsten, what the bloody hell you let happen here? Kirsten breathes heavily, looking upon the bloody battlefield. Your grace, how can this be the people, the prisoners from the camp, they exploded? Chairman was mumbling about the season of the bloom. It seems the seeds people swallowed turned them into portals. All the seeds have blossomed. Abadab protects the capitals, full of infected. Place upstream, Lamester's wound. It's the source of the seeds. Then I'm covering my men and heading out there. Where right upon my life, you will find this womb, your grace. Destroy the source. But Captain, God be merciful. He has no one to protect him and the citizens. Will the guard be enough to halt the attack? Uh, no, I've got to go up this river and make sure there are no new seeds. I could take care of that. It's for you to decide, Your Grace, where your help is more needed. God will defend his patience to the last. As for me, I'll do the same. I must assume that place must be chlorine with monsters. You think you can do it? Oh no, Baron, I cannot promise anything. But we do not seem to have a choice. Alright, why don't you go to the capital? No, Your Grace, I must... Cheeky right, I told you to go to the capital. What's wrong with you, Captain? You're going against orders. I would have taken you... Uh, one of those careless adventurers. Sorry if I've disappointed you, Lady Casey. I will not turn back, not now, when we must do everything we can. Alright, you go there, I'll go to the capital. Like I say, we're going to break here. We'll pick up all the stuff around, off-channel, get it sold, and go to the capital. See you, on.